Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how you can quickly enable and disable major sections of your project using a single controller, thereby creating a shift layer function within your BOEM project file. Within this project, we use a MIDI control message to enable one preset while disabling another preset. Disabling a preset turns off all of the translator functions within that preset, allowing you to disable and enable entire sections of your project easily by organizing presets by their functionality. First, let's go ahead and set up our input and output ports. For this demo, I'll use Launch Control as the input and MIDI Virtual Port 1 as the output. Now I'll go ahead and start creating our presets. We'll create a switcher preset that will enable and disable the functionality of the other presets. So now I have all of my three presets set up as I'd like. I have a switcher preset, then a translations with shift and without shift. And each of the two presets with shift and without shift are going to control the major sections. Now I'm going to set up the controller to provide the shift functionality I desire. We'll set up an incoming trigger. We'll capture it from my MIDI device itself. And we'll use that trigger to do the switch function. The outgoing action is actually going to do a preset change. I can find it here. There it is. So what we'll do is we'll activate one preset. In this case we'll uh, activate the preset called uh, translations with shift. And then we'll duplicate this translator and we'll deactivate the other preset. So here we go. Duplicate. The incoming action is the same, but I'm going to deactivate the other translator, or the other preset. Now I'll set up a mechanism to uh, change it back. So I just duplicate these presets. The note on preset activates it. The note off preset, or the note on functionality activates it. The note off type of action will deactivate it. So I've duplicated those, but now I have to switch the functionality from activate to deactivate and vice versa. So I'm just going through one at a time. Okay, so now it should be set up. If I if I properly, oh, I just give it a na the right name that I need. This is shift up. So shift down is going to do one thing and shift up is going to do the other. And now you can see as I shift down and shift up, the presets are activated and deactivated as I need. Now I'm going to set up some translators. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up so this first one is actually going to uh, take an incoming message of a physical key A, and I will convert that to an outgoing message of physical key A. B. There we go. Now I'll just duplicate this translator and uh, bring it over to the other preset and we'll modify its behavior. So I've just pasted it in and now I'm going to just change it so that instead of a physical key B on output, it's going to be a physical key C. So we should be all set now. So now when I press my physical key A and the preset is enabled for the first one, it puts out a physical key B, and when I enable the preset for the second one, it puts out the physical key C. Well, I hope you got a lot out of this project, and uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach us at www.bohm.com.